In this question, we are asked whether 3 to the m power is less than 2,000. We could do some calculation to determine what the maximum possible value of m is for this to be true, or we can just head to the data statements. Let's look at statement 1, evaluating it separately, of course, first. Statement 1 tells us that 3 to the m plus 1 power is greater than 2,000. In one possible case, m could be quite large, very, very large. In that case, it's larger than 2,000, and 3 to the m plus 1 power, or 1 higher power, is also larger than 2,000. And in that case, it's true by statement 1, it's allowed by statement 1, but the answer to the question would be no. However, there's another case, the one that we were just imagining before we turn to statement one, and that could be where m is the largest possible value such that 3 to the m is less than 2,000. Then if we increase it by 1, 3 to the m plus 1 would be greater than 2,000, as statement one describes. Statement one, therefore, allows this possibility. It allows for the possibility that m is the greatest possible value such that 3 to the m power is less than 2,000. Therefore, we have imagined two valid cases that generate opposite answers to the question being asked of us. We don't have sufficient information to answer the question definitively, and therefore statement one is insufficient. Statement two tells us information that is similar to what we were just imagining, because it describes the difference between one power of three and the next one up. We can list out the powers of three to figure out which one is indicated here. We can start with the third power, or three cubed. To the fourth power, we have 81, and three to the fifth power, we have 243. You might have memorized this, or you might calculate it. Generally, knowing small numbers up to the fifth power can come in quite handy on the GMAT. Let's check the sixth power. 3 to the sixth power is 729. And indeed, we can stop here, because the difference between 729 and 243 is 486. That means that m equals 6, since this is the difference described in statement 2. Since m equals 6, 3 to the m is 729, and therefore 3 to the m power is less than 2,000. Therefore, we can answer this question definitively as a yes. Statement two is sufficient, and the correct answer is B. There's one bonus thing we can point out here. We've discussed before how, even when you are evaluating a statement separately, you can sometimes draw a hint from the other statement, such as a possible case. This question is a good example of a way to check your work on a data sufficiency question. Since the statements cannot contradict each other, you can check that after the fact. For example, if our analysis of statement 2 had led to the conclusion that m equals 5, that would have implied that we made a mistake because then statement 1 and statement 2 would contradict each other. Meanwhile, we found that m plus 1 equals 7, and therefore 3 to the m plus 1 power is indeed greater than 2,000. So in this case, there is no contradiction. That's just one way to check your work on a data sufficiency question. Again, the answer is B.